It's 8.30 in the morning. I'm going for a run today in Richmond Park in West London, which is a couple of train journeys away. I'm meeting my friend Alex there, this guy. It's so cold. I've got a scarf on, a hat, three layers, and I've even brought out the leggings. I'll show you. Look at these bad boys. Ready to go. Richmond Park now, absolutely freezing. It's so cold, can't feel my hands. I think we're gonna do about 30, was it 30 miles? Today? Hopefully, yeah, 30 miles. Good, half good marathon, marathon training, yeah, get half marathon in. So this is my first time in Richmond Park and Alex had just told me that these deer are actually wild, which I didn't realise before. Hello mate. to let you know how cold it is the grass is frozen and my hands I've forgotten my gloves today absolutely freezing <sighs> just finished just under two hours it's pretty muddy pretty tough feeling good Al? I felt better to be honest with you yeah. <laughs> I think we're gonna try and get a coffee if we can find this coffee shop that Alex is going on about Thirteen miles today around Richmond Park, which is absolutely stunning. It's like runner's paradise there. Feeling really good. It kind of links into what I want to talk about today. I wanted to talk a little bit about what motivates me and kind of inspires me from day to day. And one of the main things that I love to do is listen to podcasts. The great thing about podcasts is that you can listen to them anywhere. Down the gym, going for a run, or even just at home when you're chilling out. And I always find that I'm so much more productive and motivated after I listen to one. And they're so educational. I've probably learnt more from listening to podcasts than I have during my entire time at school and university put together. Although that probably just says I'm not great with books. So over the last two or three years, I've been listening to more and more podcasts. I've really got into it. And there's rarely a day where I don't listen to one. But I discovered recently that it's actually quite hard to find a good podcast. So I thought today I'd tell you guys my three favourite podcasts. It's not really a top three because I like them all equally and they offer something different. My favourite three. Here we go. First one I want to talk about is by a guy called Rich Roll and it's called the Rich Roll Podcast. So this guy Rich Roll, he's a pretty cool guy. He lives in California. He's known for being an ultra marathon runner, an author and motivational speaker and his podcasts are brilliant. He has a wide variety of people on from all different types of backgrounds but the main theme to it is really interesting success stories where some where people have come from, where they are now. A lot of it's to do with health and fitness He's also a pretty well-known vegan, which is great, which is something that I'm really getting into. I will admit, I'm not a vegan yet myself, but after listening to more and more, I'm really, really considering it now. I think it's only a matter of time before I do become vegan. The people that he interviews ranges from YouTube bloggers, filmmakers, meditation experts, nutrition experts, authors, long-distance runners, and loads more. Really, really interesting stuff, great stories. He talks about subjects that are not only important but really relevant to today and can ultimately make a really big difference in people's lives. It relates to me because it's all the stuff that I'm interested in and him being an ultramarathon runner himself kind of attracted me to his podcast. After listening to a couple, I realised just how good they are. So the Rich Roll podcast, really, really good. I would highly recommend it. The second podcast that I want to talk about is probably the most famous podcast out there. 
It's called the Joe Rogan Experience. Loads of people probably know what I'm talking about here. It's been going quite a few years now. Joe Rogan is an ex-fighter. He's a UFC commentator. He's most famous for hosting the Fear Factor, presenting the Fear Factor. There's no theme at all behind it, really. He just gets people from all different kinds of backgrounds, journalists, athletes, comedians. What's really interesting about this podcast is that he gets people on talking about controversial stuff. He had Lance Armstrong on not long ago, talking about pretty much everything that happened when he was taking drugs and the whole scandal that came out about him. And he really gets people to open up and tell him everything, really. Sometimes he even challenges them, he argues with them to really get the good answers out of them, really get the stuff that people want to hear. And what Joe Rogan does is that he chats to people just on a casual basis. He doesn't really use a direct approach to asking the questions. It's all really casual, they're just having a chat and he gets these amazing stories out of them. It's really funny, really interesting, really inspirational to listen to. It's everything in one basket. And the best things about this podcast that he's kind of famous for now is that he videos it all. So you can watch it all on YouTube, you can watch people's reactions. When they're talking about stuff, you can actually see what they're talking about, which offers a different perspective on it all. I can just sit there and watch watch them talking in a room for two hours, it's crazy. If you're not already listening to it, you should definitely try it out. The last one I want to talk about today is called Zestology. I actually mentioned this in one of my videos a while ago. It's by a guy called Tony Wrighton. He's a pretty well-known presenter presents on Sky Sports and Golfing World. He's also an author. And his podcast is all about motivation, energy and vitality. What everyone can do from day to day to improve their health, both physically and mentally. So obviously there's a theme with this podcast. Tony's guests range from ultramarathon runners to authors, motivational speakers, nutritionists, doctors, sleep doctors. Those are incredible people that have either gone through extreme things or have written books and have great knowledge on subjects such as illnesses, what makes us ill, what can help us, what improves our daily routine. And these things, you don't, people don't really talk about these things enough. Some of the stuff is so interesting. I remember a podcast a little while ago where this guy was talking about how nutrition can cure Parkinson's. And it was just incredible to listen to. And to actually think that's true is is unbelievable. And I've recently discovered that nutrition, eating the right food, especially plant-based foods, it can cure and reverse illnesses and diseases. What I hear from people a lot of the time is that they're, they're either tired, they're working too hard, they don't feel well, they're not that fit, loads of different kinds of things. Are people really doing enough to get as much energy as they possibly can throughout the day? I wasn't doing enough, which made me listen to this podcast, and it's made me try out loads of different things. Sometimes you just gotta take time out of your day to relax, feel better and in the long run you'll just feel more energized so yeah zestology an incredible podcast this is a website just google zestology i find myself at an age now where i feel like i just want to learn as much as possible and sometimes you just got to list really listen to people and that's quite hard to do when you're having a conversation down the pub or just with your friends or at work so i find that listening to to people give each other the time to talk. It really educates me on things that I knew nothing about before. The reason I picked these three podcasts is because they can relate to everyone and they can improve people's lives. I've actually found that just sitting there listening to podcasts over the last few years has definitely made me more productive. I've run more marathons than I have before. I've even done an ultra marathon, which I never thought I'd do. I've made this YouTube channel, which was something that I was putting off for years. And I've just generally become a lot calmer with everything. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week. I think I'm going to go edit this vlog now. Okay. I sort of like. Uh, oh,